I'm a firm believer that if we're going to have long, happy lives, we need innovation in research and healthcare providers. And part of the struggle there is that STEM education and training uh, is not very great at retaining uh, underserved and diverse populations. So what I'm really trying to do is figure out how we can make the lab setting uh, a bit more inclusive to people and try and overcome some of those barriers to STEM education so that way we can have a more diverse research force, a more diverse health professional team, and ultimately lead to more innovation in that field. Uh, this is the first two years of my teaching career, so I was very green, and um, I started out with uh, podcasts and audiobooks to kind of get my feet wet on the different subjects. I, read, I listened to uh, Whistling Vivaldi from uh, uh, Claude uh, Stelly, and he really opened my eyes to how these underrepresented students, how these underserved students that are incredibly brilliant, still have a lot of struggle with their uh, science identity and their sense of STEM community, and how we as instructors can try and promote those aspects to bring these students into fields of leadership and innovation in that. So we took the traditional lab setting, which has shown to be a little bit counterintuitive in the sense that we throw a 50-page lab manual at students and we send them into the lab to do this experiment with equipment they haven't seen before. We grade them on their yield and their purity for an experiment that we don't expect people to get right the first time around. So we really try to flip that mindset to a growth mindset. And we also rearrange the lab setting so that we have uh, what I call uh, inquiry team-based lab design. So instead of students coming into the lab with uh, just the lab manual, we also provide them with demo videos so that way they can see the equipment that they're gonna be handling, they're gonna see the exact procedure that they're going to be doing and try and uh, elucidate some of those uncertainties that really put stress on students we incorporated more uh, coaching reports in our examinations so that students along the way have a better idea of what it is that they're being assessed on, where they can find improvements. And when they are in the lab, instead of having a lab partner that uh, they're gonna be working side by side with, and if they're not feeling comfortable with the experiment, they may be tempted to just kind of concede that lab experiment to the lab partner and not really gain much out of it. So we instead kind of flip to that team setting where the students are coming into the lab, doing the experiment on their own, and then afterwards they get that sense of community by meeting with their research team after the lab, sharing their results, and then uh, being able to discuss the interpretation of those results when they go up to write those lab reports. So a lot of the confusion and stress and uncertainty that a lot of students feel when they're in the lab. We're really trying to make that more transparent in this lab design. Uh, we saw that when we do this flipping of the teams, we see a lot more engagement in the students while they're in the lab. They are finding that they are more than capable of these experiments. They're building confidence more so than we've seen in in traditional lab settings and kind of the uh, the bittersweet feedback that I've gotten was that students tell me that this was the first lab where they felt comfortable in. this was the first lab where they felt that they could uh, make mistakes and grow from that which is again kind of bittersweet because I'm dealing with juniors and seniors that have had a lot of other labs before mine and I really hope that we can get this growth mindset and this sort of inquiry team-based design into some of the earlier lab courses that they go through. I have had students that um, have come to me for letters of recommendation and uh, they say that this is going to be like a research uh, PhD or master's program that I 
didn't think I would be interested in until I took this lab course and I realized, hey, maybe I do have a place in this research field. Maybe I do have a sense of belonging in this STEM community.